Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this loan calculator for our website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in the previous video, I showed you how to design this using HTML and CSS. Now in this video, we will add the JavaScript to calculate the loan EMI, the total interest payable and also the total amount. So the result will be calculated based on the values that we enter over here in these three input fields. Now if you haven't watched my previous video, I will leave the link in the description of this video so you can go ahead and check it out. So let's get started. Alright, here is our code and uh, we have written all of this in the previous video. And we have also linked our JavaScript file over here. Alright, now the first thing we will do is uh, we will reference all of the elements that we need into our JavaScript. So we need to reference these three input fields. We have these classes loan amount, interest rate and loan tenure. And then we need to reference these values. So we need to reference the loan EMI value over here. And then we need to reference this uh, total interest value. And then also this total amount value. And then the last thing we need to reference is this calculate button. So we have this class calculate button over here. So let's reference all of this in our JavaScript. So let's go to our main.js file. And first of all, let's reference all these three input fields. So we have these classes loan amount, interest rate and loan tenure. So here I'll just create a constant. I'll just name it loan amount input. And here we'll just type document dot query selector. And we have a class of loan amount. And then the next thing we will reference is the interest rate. So I'll just type interest rate input. And I'll just set it equal to document dot query selector. And here I'll just type interest rate. And the next thing we will reference is the loan tenure. So I'll just type loan tenure input. And we'll set it equal to document dot query selector. And here I'll just type loan tenure. All right, now let's reference the values. So let's scroll down and here we can see for the loan EMI, we have this division with the class of loan EMI. And in that we have this uh, division with the class of value. And in the same way, we have this class of total interest. And uh, then we have this class of total amount. So let's reference these. So here we just type const loan EMI value equals document dot query selector and we have a class called loan EMI and in that we have a class called value. Now in the same way let's reference the total interest. So I'll just type total interest value and I'll just set it equal to document dot query selector and we have a class called total interest and in that we have the value class. And then let's type const total amount value equals document dot query selector. And here we'll just type total amount and value. Now let's reference this calculate button. So we have a class of calculate button over here. So let's reference that. Here let's type const calculate button equals document dot query selector calculate button. All right, now the next thing we will do is we'll convert the values that we get from this input field into a number. So we'll convert it into a float, which is a decimal number. So for that, let's create a variable. So I'll just type let. And for the loan amount, I'll just create a variable called loan amount. And here we need to type parse float. So this will convert anything that we have inside this parenthesis into a float. So let's type loan amount input dot value. Now in the same way, let's create variables for the interest rate and also the loan tenure. So let's type let interest rate equals parse float. And here let's type interest rate input dot value. And let's type let loan tenure equals parse float and loan tenure input dot value. Now here's the formula that we're going to use to calculate the EMI. And here we can see R is the rate of interest calculated on monthly basis. So the value of R is basically interest rate divided by 12 divided by 100. So let's create a variable for that so that it's easy for us to calculate. So I'll just type let interest equals and here I'll just type interest rate divided by 12 divided by 100. All right, now the next thing we will do is we'll create a function to calculate the EMI. So let's create a function called calculate EMI. And in this function, we will add the formula to calculate the EMI. So let's create a variable called EMI and we'll set it equal to the formula. So here you can see the formula on the screen. So let's type loan amount times 
interest which is interest rate divided by 12 divided by 100 times and here we'll create a parenthesis and here I'll just type 1 plus interest and we need to raise this to the loan tenure so for that we will use a JavaScript function so I'll just type math dot p o w to raise it to the power so here I'll just type comma and uh, we will raise it to the loan tenure so I'll just type loan tenure over here and we need to divide this by the same value minus 1 so I'll just copy this and paste it over here and here I'll just type minus 1 and we need to add a parenthesis over here and we need to close it over here so this is our formula now let's return this EMI value so I'll just type return EMI now the next thing we will do is we'll create a function to update all the values so if you go back to our Chrome here we can see we have these values over here so we need to update all these divisions so for that we have already referenced it over here so here we can see loan EMI value total interest value and total amount value so we need to update all these values so let's create a function for that here let's type const update data and let's create a function over here now in this function we will take the EMI as an argument and we will update all the values based on the EMI so the first thing we will do is update the loan EMI value so just tap loan EMI value dot inner HTML and uh, we will round it so I'll just type math dot round and here let's tap EMI the next thing we will update is the total amount so the total amount is basically EMI times the loan tenure so let's create a variable for that so I'll just type let total amount equals loan tenure times EMI and we will round this value as well so I'll just type math dot round and I'll just add this inside the parenthesis now here I'll just type total amount value so this is the variable so I'll just type total amount value dot inner HTML and we need to set the HTML to the total amount all right now the next thing we will update is uh, the total interest payable so the total interest payable is basically the total amount minus the loan amount so let's create a variable for that so I'll just type total interest payable equals math dot round and here I'll just type total amount minus loan amount All right now let's add this value to our total interest value so here I'll just type total interest value dot inner HTML equals total interest payable All right now the next thing we will do is we'll call these two functions so let's create a function called init and here we'll call the function calculate EMI and this function returns us the EMI value so I'll just store it inside a variable so I'll just type let EMI equals calculate EMI All right now let's call this function update data so this should be data so here I'll just type update data and here I'll just pass the EMI value All right now let's call this function over here so I'll just type init and let's go back to our browser and let's see whether it works and we seem to have some problems in the formula because uh, the value is not correct so let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's go over here to console and we don't have any errors over here so let's check out the values so first of all let's type loan amount and we have the correct value displayed over here let's type interest rate and we have the correct value let's type loan tenure and even for the loan tenure we have a value of 20,000 so we have to change it so let's go back to our code and let's scroll up and uh, here we can see for the loan tenure we are adding the loan amount input so let's change this to loan tenure input so let's type loan tenure input All right now let's go back and let's see whether it works and now we can see we have the correct values 237 8488 and 28488 now let's go ahead and change this value so let's go back to our HTML let's change the values over here so I'll just change this to 30,000 and let's change the interest to 8.5 and let's change the value of the month to 240 All right now let's save this and let's go back to our browser and now we can see we have the updated result over here so everything is working all right all right now the last thing we will do in this video is to make this calculate button work so let's go back to our VS code and let's go to our main.js file and here we have already created this constant for the calculate button so let's add an event listener for that so here let's type calculate btn dot add event listener 
and we will listen for the click event and uh, let's create an arrow function over here and we just copy these two lines of code from here and paste it over here All right now let's go back to our chrome and let's see whether it works so let's change this back to 20 and let's click on calculate and we can see that the value is not being updated so let's right click over here and let's click on inspect and if you go to our console and if I just type loan amount we can see that the value is still 30,000 over here so the value has not been updated so for that let's go back to our code and let's create a function to update all the values so let's create a function called refresh input values and here let's copy all of these uh, three lines of code and also this line of code over here for the interest and paste it over here and we need to remove this let from here because we are not creating a new variable we are just assigning these values to the variable so I'll just remove all the let all right now let's call this function over here inside the calculate button so I'll just type refresh input values all right now let's go back to our browser and uh, let's change this to 20 and let's click on calculate and now we can see that the values have changed so everything is working all right let's change something over here as well and let's change this to 120 and let's click on calculate and we have the result displayed over here now if you go back to our code we can see that we have the same code over here and here as well we just have this function called refresh input values so I'll just copy this from here and paste it over here in the init function and we can directly call the init function over here inside this event listener so I'll just delete all of this and here let's tap init all right now let's go back and let's see whether it works so let's change this to 20 and let's click on calculate and the values are not being updated so let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's see whether we have any errors so let's go to console and here we can see cannot access refresh input values before initialization so let's go back and here we can see we have created this function over here after the init so we have to cut this from here and we had to paste it before the init function over here all right now it should work so let's go back and let's change this to 20,000 and let's click on calculate and we can see that the values are updated so everything is working all right so that's basically how you write the code to calculate the EMI using JavaScript all right so that's it for this video in the next video I'll show you how to add the chart over here so the chart will display the total interest payable and the total amount so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day